Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to protect the workbook with a password and how to protect workbook structure. Okay. Alright, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Go Seek in Excel in so many ways. Okay. Microsoft Excel is full of all sorts of tools, some common in practice and some tools are a lesser known. We are going to take a look at some of these lesser known, more advanced type tools that we can use within Microsoft Excel. Okay. The first one that we are going to take a look at here is called Go Seek. Okay. And this falls into the category of what if analysis. If you take a look at my screen here, I have got some data open. Okay. Currently on the worksheet tab. Okay. Called Go Seek. And if you look at the data tab right up here, you can see at the top of my screen, underneath the data tools right here you have what is called what if analysis and if i get that button click okay you will find a handful of features these are some of these lesser known features that are built inside of the microsoft Excel, but very powerful and robust tools okay like i mentioned earlier the first one here that I want to discuss here is the go seek. Okay. Ah, so first off, before I jump in there and start to demonstrate on this go seek worksheet, I have got two simple little table here on my screen. Okay. In the first table here, I want to find out how many units have to be sold to reach the goal of 20,000 of revenue using the word the go seek all right and in my in the second table here i want to figure out if i can afford the monthly repayment using the function or a payment function or pmt built instead of there and it take a handful of arguments and variables to determine what my current loan repayment is going to be then i'm going to use the go seek tools to find out the exact amount of loan i can take to be paid on monthly basis okay now from the first table suppose we want to find out how many units hmm, have to be sold to reach the goal of what the twenty thousand dollars okay of revenue follow this step when using the go seek tools okay now put the cursor or put your cursor on the cell that contains the output you want to to change which is the revenue so i want this revenue to change to my work to my desire target which is what twenty thousand dollars okay now now go to you the data ribbon right up here you can see at the top of your screen and navigate to the work the data tools then select what if analysis right then select go seek go it's going to open a dialog box here and when the dialog box appears make this set set right up here equal to the revenue on the ECs depending on the sale you have but here my mine is on the revenue ECs so make sure it's, it's equal to the revenue on this because that's great uh, because that is the sale I want uh, our target revenue of twenty thousand dollars is going to display and not the fifteen thousand that is showing on the sell ECs anymore right and this next one is that to to value sale so you have to set this equal to the revenue you want to achieve by tapping in the number that is the twenty thousand dollar which is my target revenue that i want to achieve okay and the next one this, which is what this and uh, by changing sale okay make it equal to the that is Make it equal to the number of units you want to sell for. That is, which is what the 
600 okay then i will give it a click okay um so when, once i click because i want to find out how many units i have to be sold to reach my goal of all the twenty thousand dollars okay if i press ok it will keep the solution running in the model that is the cell e4 yeah we permanently change to our result unit or if i press cancel it will return to the wall to the original 600 okay which is rightly up here so now let me press ok good you can see that to achieve the goal of about twenty thousand dollars of revenue 800 units need to be sold that is it very powerful tool inside of all microsoft excel okay now let's work on the second table right here hmm? using the pmt payment function to determine the monthly loan repayment that's the amount i can afford to pay okay in the second table here i want to figure out if i can afford the monthly loan repayment using the pmt function or payment payment function or what is called the pmt built inside of Excel, and it take a handful of arguments and variables to determine what my current loan repayment is going to be as i said earlier then i'm going to use go see tools to find out the exact amount to be paying on monthly basis so watch this notes supposing i can only afford to be paying one thousand five hundred dollars every month okay and in this table i have got a loan of about three hundred thousand dollars okay it's got an interest rate of what six percent okay and a time a month which is what 360 months what i would like to know is what is my current payment going to be so i'm using these arguments or variables right up here to determine that now we are going to figure out this out using a function that is built inside of a zero core payment function or pmt okay then we are going to turn around and see how we can adjust the current payment to fit more of my budget which is worth 300 dollars okay but rather than us trying to walk around with these numbers here using the maybe try and error by changing the rate mm, to get closer to my affordable loan amount to obtain by reducing maybe between the rate or the term loans or to get to closer to the budget you know what rather than those doing that manually we get a Z to do this for us through the go save tools take a look so first i'm going to go over and click on the word the cell e15 right up here you can see cell e15 so i'm going to give it a click because i want the output result there and i'm going to create a simple little calculation here that we find out the current payment using the word these three arguments are here with the help of what the built-in tools called the payment function or the PMT. So I'm going to go to my formula tab right up here. You can see then I then I'm going to go to financial. Okay, you can see. Okay, now I will find PMT. PMT. Okay. Okay, you can see so um, this is PMT which is called the payment function. So let me give it a click. Then if it takes a handful of arguments, okay, from us to be filled into the boxes here, but I'm going to only going to use the three options here, which is here, read the the this one and this one is okay. Now the the first one is the rate which is what the uh, the percent okay this is on and i can have my rate on my cell drag it on cell e 11 so i'm going to give it a click okay now basically an interest rate is an apr that is annual percentage rate so i'm going to divide it by 
12 okay i'm going to divide it by 12 so i will say 11 divided by 12 okay in the second argument which is what the mpr right? is which is called number of payment so i'm going to grab the term month right here in value which is what 360 okay then the third argument is what what the pv and it's called the present value which is what the three hundred thousand dollar which is my loan amount that i want to obtain okay so i'm going to grab that okay good now if i go ahead and hit on okay you will see that it is roughly a thousand dollars seven nine eight point six five which is what the i'm going a month i'm going to be paying on monthly basis for a two hundred thousand dollars loan at an at a six percent interest rate for the next 360 months quick notes the monthly payment here is in red and it is negative i can quickly change the that if i go into my formula bar right up here and just pull the minus sign okay and hit on our mark enter key good you can see so you can see so now that we convert it into a what a positive value in other words i can only afford to be paying one thousand five hundred dollars as my monthly payment but what i have here is one thousand seven hundred eight which is above my what my desire amount which i can able to afford okay so now instead of us trying using the try and error approach by to figure out this manually or I, and i don't want to do that i want a day to figure this out for me this is called go seek okay so first step i'm going to select the cell e15 right up here okay this is the cell that i want to change and i want to reach the goal of about 1500 a month and i'll go to my data tab right up here at the top of my screen and i will I'm going to go into the data to section and look for what what if analysis and give it a click and grab the word the go seek from the drop down this all right now three little things here you can see three little things first is the what said you want to set which is what they said the which is what the so e15 right up here okay now the next argument is i want to set it to go to my desire Go, which is what well, I can only afford to be paying $1,500 every month. Okay, so that is what I can afford. All right, now the next argument is what is a it is going to allow us to change one of these three values here that that this formula 178.65 rely on, or that that is that is used. So I'm going to try and changing the word the so e 13 here to eh, that is the loan i'm not giving giving eh, by giving it a click okay good good okay now so now so i'm going to click on what on okay you can see with this now with this i can be able to afford to obtain a loan of two hundred and fifty thousand one eighty seven point four two low in order for me to be able to go and get at the interest rate of six percent in three six months in order to be able to go to be paying one thousand five hundred monthly as my loan repayment that is it very simple and very robust function inside of it just a couple of little things very very nice to you rather than you going through and adjusting these numbers right here over and over again try to reach this goal let us do it for you let's try it out thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll give, give you more of the zero function bye